And finally today, I actually found a little good news this week. It wasn't easy. It wasn't on the front page, of course. But deep inside yesterday's New York Times, there was a story about a new exhibit at the New York Public Library that tells how successful the tobacco industry has been over the years at conning us into smoking. That's good news, yes, because we have come to understand what a con it was and how far the industry was willing to go to convince us to smoke. The exhibit gave an example. In 1929, when only loose women were thought to smoke, the industry put a PR man named Edward Bernays on the case. He convinced 10 genteel ladies to smoke cigarettes while marching down Fifth Avenue in the Easter Parade. The newspapers ate it up, pictures appeared across the country, and suddenly it was acceptable for ladies to smoke outdoors, and of course they did. Today, one-fifth of all American women still smoke, and they have come full circle. In most places, they can only smoke outdoors, and the young of both sexes crowd the sidewalks of our big cities. The heartening thing, of course, is that smoking is not nearly as popular as it once was, and most of us have figured it out, that smoking is the single most preventable cause of death, that the third of all cancer deaths are caused by smoking. But what a con it was and what saps we were to buy it for so long.